Hi, I'm Chris. Welcome to King Bespoke Creations. We're in a slightly different venue today. Rather than being in the workshop, we're just in a room in the house with a guitar and an amp. This is the extremely simple setup I've got today. So simply going from the guitar through this overly long cable into a very cheap amp uh, that has a gain setting on it. So we're going to activate that today. So there we go. Nothing flash. Just to prove that it's the guitar that's going to make the sounds, not some fancy systems. Um, we do have something to talk about down here in a minute. But first of all, we've just got some standard Strat-like sounds coming out of the single coils with the standard five-way switch, two tone pots and a volume pot. You're going to get all the same sounds that you would get out of a normal Strat. It's the same uh, Fender scale length as well. So realistically, you plug this in, you're going to know what you're going to get. It means as well, if you're using a really nice proper valve amp, um, you're going to get lots of headroom in there. You can crank it up and it's still going to give you some pretty clean tones. However, these pickups in here are Wilkinson Alnico 5 hot pickups. Now we say hot and we, we kind of mean it. So the neck and the middle pickup are both at 7K and the bridge pickup is 7.9K. So they're pretty pretty raucous to begin with. So it's going to give you some slightly hotter Strat-like sounds. But we've got a little trick up our sleeves. Replacing this tone pot down here, we've got something a little bit special though. Uh, a friend of mine, thanks Neil, gave me a Rothwell Audio Hot Little Knob, as it's called. Um, I'm going to change that to Beast Mode so I don't get ripped off by YouTube. <laughs> Basically what this does is it connects these single coils in a slightly different way. I'm sure there's loads of other products in there. In fact, can you put a link in the comment to any push-pull system that you found that links up the single coils to make them sound a little bit more like humbuckers, which is exactly what this does. Um, I'll put a link in for the Rothwell Audio website. What this does is it links things together in slightly different ways. So we've got pairs coming in, uh, sometimes in series, sometimes in parallel, and it just pushes things a little bit more. So that headroom that you have with a valve amp, suddenly you're getting that gain sound with the flick of a switch. Just by pulling this pot out here, we're going to get some slightly more raucous sounds. <laughs> Okay, so here's what we've got. Uh, I've got the push pulleys in, so this is just standard strat. The amp's got a little bit of gain on it, but not a lot. Uh, so again, kind of going through those standard positions. As you would expect, okay? Now, if we then pop this out, Suddenly there's an increase there. And, and we're suddenly getting a load again, which is really nice. Okay, so now we've got a different range of sounds. So this is what we get when we pull this knob out. Uh, what we end up with is some different positions on here. Some of them are repeated, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, but the rest of them just link things together in a non-standard way. Right, so with the pot pulled out, um, where position one used to be just the bridge pickup, it's now the bridge and the middle pickup running in series. Okay, uh, obviously my playing is horrendous, so you'll have to excuse some of that, but here we're just getting some sounds. So that's what position one's gonna do. We have alterations with the, with both of these tone pots as well. So it filters out some of the uh, the high notes, and again, same things, this, this is just a standard pot that you get anyway. Um, but yeah, we are getting some different sounds. Annoyingly, and I don't know why this is the case, position two is exactly the same as position one. It's the same sound, which is a little bit frustrating that Rothwell have done that. Um, but there we go. It's still a big range of sounds that we've got. So position three, 
uh, gives a similar sound to positions one and two, but with a fixed amount of low end cut, uh, which could, should be good for some rhythm playing stuff. Um, but it also then has, uh, again, kind of a, a range of high end cuts. Uh, using the tone selector switch as well. Position four is the same as position three, but we've now got the neck pickup running in parallel with the other two pickups as well. Uh, so again, that just should give you another varied sound. Just kind of brings an extra bit in. Okay, position five um, is a standard neck on its own position. So when people just want that neck position without needing to flick that back in, it's the same uninterrupted sound that we get through there. Now, hopefully you could hear the differences in those tones. Now that's like I said, with a really, really cheap amp that's just got a gain setting and a clean setting. I would fully imagine if you ran this through a proper valve amp, those differences would be really varied and you'd hear the tonal differences between the two, um, between these push pot sections that we've got down here. It's a really interesting thing. Um, you know, obviously there's loads of sounds available just from a standard strap three coil system, but adding an extra bit, really, really interesting. Rothwell Audio also make a cool little knob that you would fit to a pair of humbuckers that would then split them. Uh, it's a different way of doing a split coil rather than having to drill a hole and add a switch in, um, which is effectively what this is doing. They do the opposite way around as well. Again, I'll leave a link in the description. Now, also left with a link in the description is the eBay listing for this guitar. Yes, you can have this guitar, this one-off, custom, never to be repeated guitar. It could be yours. Click on that link in the eBay listings um, and go and see if you can get yourself something that no one else in the world will ever have, ever. Definitely check out this video here. If you haven't seen the build of this guitar, it's definitely worth a watch. Till next time, tune your strings, and I'll see you soon. God bless.